Glossary of Language Education Terms, Wikipedia Audio Language teaching, like other educational activities, may employ specialized vocabulary and word use. This list is a glossary for English language learning and teaching using the communicative approach. The most important person in the classroom is the student. The teacher's primary focus must be on effective ways to have the student practice using his or her language. Classes should be planned so they enable the student to use just a little more language than they are comfortable with. This is known as I plus one an idea popularized by Stephen Krashen. This formula is short for comprehensible input plus one. Comprehensible input is language the students can understand. In non-English speaking countries, students have instrumental motivation, the desire to learn English to accomplish a goal. They may want to improve their job prospects, for example, or to speak to tourists. They won. Attend English classes with other non-native speakers too. Can find reasonable work without English, have less economic incentive to learn English. 3. Do not need English in daily life. 4. Have both primary and secondary support networks that function in their native language. 5. Have fewer opportunities to practice using their English they are learning, and their instructors are teaching, English as a foreign language. Glossary in English-speaking countries, they have integrative motivation, the desire to learn the language to fit into an English-language culture. They are more likely to want to integrate because they won. Generally have more friends and family with English-language skills. 2. Have immediate financial and economic incentives to learn English. 3. Have more opportunities to practice English. 4. Need it in daily life, often require it for work. 5. Often attend English classes with students who speak a wide range of mother tongues. They are learning, and their instructors are teaching, English as a second language. Learners need to spend time practicing these words until they are automatic, this is known as building automaticity. Since there is often not enough class time for much word practice, teachers need to present their students with strategies for developing automaticity outside the classroom.